<laughs> Exposed, <laughs> spilling, spilling the tea on her speed. All of her speed, Madam Sea Macau. Yeah, <laughs> you want some good vintage vines? Also, check out my phone screen. This is a very romantic moment. Yeah, we're back at my uh, my university grounds. Show them what Kevin got. Today we got the signature shrimp dish with uh, load up with peas and asparagus. For those of you don't, that don't know, this is where Daniel and I fell in love with each other. Very romantic spot here in the golf cafeteria. Hi, I'll take my coat off. No, no, the coat's good. Um, I don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I think I'm wearing all H&M. Um, Aritzia Super Puff. A white fox sweater, H&M, and dirty feelings. My Is fit there? today, I got a Black Sabbath straight uh, No More Tours 2 hoodie. That's uh, a Vans fleecy homeless dude jacket to keep me warm. I got some Levi's blue jeans on. Some Timberland boots that are the typical dead ass ones you see. Yeah, this is really original. <laughs> A white t-shirt. The undershirt. <laughs> Thank you. And the hair is, Great the style. Hair is by me. Great style out here in Guelph. Let's go find some others. Uh, my name is Matt uh, Butler. Do you have an uh, Instagram? Yeah, I do. It's, uh, yo, Matt, what's your Instagram? <laughs> We're in a North Face jacket, just um, uh, Levi's jeans and some J's. Staying warm? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Stay warm. Oh. Again. I'm so f***ing awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. Love this life. My name's Feba. I'm Vino. Yeah. Awesome. What are you wearing on this lovely Guelph day? Wearing? I'm I'm wearing uh, blue jeans, a uh, black turtleneck on the inside, <laughs> and give him a spin. Girl. And I want him know. I just got this Thank coat you. from Zara. Girl, we are high and low. This is how we live on a budget. We wear a supreme hoodie, and then we have some American egos. Is this, what is this? I think they're American Eagle jeans okay. and then some Nikes that are a little bit too dirty, don't zoom in. Yeah, okay. and that's it. That's how you do it, student budget. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're in Guelph when there's a tractor pull going on. Should we do it? I'm not pulling a tractor, are you kidding me? I'll throw up my back again. For sure we would win that tractor pull, no doubt. We've been rejected a couple times, guys, but... It's okay because it's literally like really cold out here. That was the most intelligent sentence I've ever said. But uh, yeah, off to the thrift store. Major mood right here. Really? Gotta say that one more time. It's really neat. Thank you. <laughs> You're a great actress. <laughs> Looking neat and tidy in here. Goodwill has their ish together. I feel like we're all talking about accent Daniel is doing. So we're out here at Goodwill. They hooked us up with some $5 coupons slash gift cards, I guess these are. Feels like a fat stack. We're about to head in. We're already in. I already tried on this hoodie, guys. I'm getting it. We've got everything. It's game over, but this is the intro, so thank you to Goodwill. We're here in Guelph and we're loving it, so let's see what we find. <laughs> yeah! Giddy up, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute! Oh my god. So nice. So cute. Find us some fire turkey, please. It's a little bit of a slow drifter, guys. Got nothing. Verdict? That was anticlimactic. It's fine. We're gonna keep moving. This one's kind of cool, actually. Turkey. Oh, you left a gem behind. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. This is my Guelph thrifting OOTD. Thrifted top. Top shop jury jeans. My ASOS boots. <gasps> I thought I lost a necklace. That would have been tragic. Honestly, never really a fan of the women's sweater section. There's rarely things in here, and it's always so friggin' jam packed. I love this, but like, is it a tits out kind of moment in this shirt? I just don't fully understand. I feel like if I don't get it, I'm gonna edit this video and have regrets, so we're keeping her there. <laughs> this is what we like to see. I've just been picking up things. I'm gonna Come. just bump up the volume. Bump it up. Okay, I'm go. getting in one of those moods, the Florida thrifting mood. It's mm. good. <laughs> we have that. I don't know about that one. This root sweater, I think it's kinda good. Just picking up the sweaters, guys, because as you saw, it is freezing AF out here now in Canada. Might do a little croppage to that. Of this, which I think is a fun little party party. Mm -hmm. A fun another item, but I think it might be too big for me, sadly. The grail right here. Found an Aritzia top. 
pretty good, right? I thought this was so cute and cozy. Like, it's actually soft too. Feel. Feel test. Don't know how I feel about that. It's like 2004. It's coming back, Turkey. You best believe it. We found some Tommy on the patch, Tommy on the butt. Okay. Some for when you get home, no? Haul? Yeah. No, because I have like five hauls that I'm backed up on and I have to <laughs> film them all before this weekend. <laughs> the Reebok, and I think I'm good. That's the loot, that's the haul. Thrift on, ladies and gentlemen, thrift on. All right, this is look number one. We're leaving my hair tucked in to this makeshift bob because we don't want to deal with static today. I'm really liking this jacket. And then we have the polo turtleneck underneath. I'm obsessed. So we have the croc croc blazer. Definitely would wear a cuter bra with this because this sports bra looking thing. It's all about comfort, guys. But I think this is really cute. It's actually very flattering because it's long and slim. And this is exactly why we tried things on. There we go. Slight issue. This is a schmood. Sadly, these dickies are a little big, but I kind of want to get them and fix them. Is it worth it? This outfit definitely makes me feel cooler than I actually am. <laughs> wow. I know, it's so small though. Put it on your waist. Oh, I tried it on. That makes me so sad. No, I, I it's think that's, so good. Like, look how tight it is. It could work. not in my room. This is a much more high-tech version of what I would like my studio to look like. But I'm at my boyfriend's house now and I decided to haul this stuff with you guys because I have like, I'm backed up on the thrift hauls, guys. I've got like five that I need to film. So I just figured we might as well show you guys what I got because I kind of showed you anyways in the change room, but. I would just like to point out that this lovely long hair that I'm sporting here on my sweater did not come with the sweater. It's my own hair. It just somehow made it there and I did not realize it until now and it kind of looks disgusting. So just wanted to clear that up. We're just gonna fire through this stuff. It was a really fun day in Guelph. I'm glad I got to go out there and check this stuff out. It was good to like see what Goodwill is doing because we don't have any of them in Toronto, just for those of you that didn't know. So the only Goodwills that I've been to really are in the States. So I picked up this amazing puffy jacket and this really cool like bronzish color. I know like puffer jackets are everywhere, literally everywhere right now, but I thought this one was cool because I've never seen one in a color like this and I love the fit of it. It's by the brand Gianfranco Fair Studio. Probably butchered that, but it was a whopping $17 and the great thing about Goodwill is they do not tax, so thank you Goodwill for that. I did end up picking up these Dickies jeans because I just thought they were too cool to leave behind. I might give these ones away or I might try and fix them really just adding to my pile of things that I'm always talking about getting fixed, but I never act on. So I just thought they were really cool. They were $9, I got them. Okay. Also grabbed this hoodie, is it gross that I haven't washed it yet and I'm wearing it? Maybe, but I pretty much live in a thrift store. Anyways, it says diesel on it. It's not by the brand diesel, but it's just kind of like a, a car sweater and I'm obsessed with the fit of it. For some reason it just fits perfectly. Like not like I need, not like I need another hoodie in my life, but this one is special. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So I briefly showed you guys these pants in the change room as well. They were also $9, found them in the men's section and they're just kind of like a cargo pant style. Kind of like the ones that Brandy's selling right now with the pockets down the side. I also grabbed this really, really stunning um, cobalt blue polo Rattler and cable knit sweater with the contrasting pink little polo dude right there. I love polo and this is my color. I'm obsessed with bright colors in the winter. This one was only $8. We also grabbed, just for fun, because I had a little bit of money left on my gift cards, this Reebok tri-color crew neck. 
I grabbed the snake blazer because I just thought it was too fire to leave behind. You guys saw, loved it. <laughs> Along with, we're gonna call that one crocodile because we're gonna call this one snake. This is the Aritzia blouse and these at Aritzia go for like a hundred bucks. So I really liked the fit of it. I guess I'm still into animal print. Must have been lying to myself before. And then the last item that I got, I'm sure some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it, but probably most of you are gonna hate it. Literally all of you are gonna hate it. But it is this Von Dutch Neapolitan colorway little zip up thing. And I just thought it was really freaking cute. It's called this weird ass thing on the back. But I think Von Dutch is gonna come back, guys. Just bear with me on this one. It's really comfy. And honestly, quality of Von Dutch stuff, not bad. So as you guys saw, my total was $85 on the dot, so pretty good. I got a lot of like legitimate winter stuff and some really good brand name things too, so I'm pretty content. It was worth the drive out to Guelph, and hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you again to my good friends Rachel Dillon and my boyfriend Daniel for coming with me. It was so much fun, and make sure you subscribe, because as I said, I've got like five thrift holds coming. Wish me luck filming those ones. Thanks again to Goodwill for sending out the gift cards and I will see you guys on my next video.